please answer because we're here to have fun. With what? With a need in mind, you know. No. Good time, whatever. Yeah, I'm just down here, just you know, just to hang out, you know, just to be glitz. I'm not really here with any hidden agenda, but if I meet any nice bits of trade, who knows? You know, maybe love. Okay. okay. Just <laughs> a happy pride into the lens. Happy pride. You're watching Gay Time. Thank, Thank you very much. Okay. What today means to you? Uh, well, it means. It's really just an excuse to kind of dress up and have fun and I think not be political really because a lot of people have been moaning that Pride isn't more political. I think it should just be a day for screaming. But it does have a serious point as well though. Well it does have a serious point but you know we've got the rest of the year to be serious. I think Pride Day should really be about having fun, enjoying yourself, dragging your mum, your aunt, you know, borrowing her clothes, just having a good time. Now it is 27th year I believe. Yeah. What does it mean to well, you know, Pride is now called transgender, bisexual. I think people are realising that there's that there's no such thing as a typical homosexual. Um, I don't really like that word anyway. I mean, you know, there's so many different types of sexual being now, and there's so many different variants within each little camp. And I think people are beginning to realise that actually people are sexual. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of why I like the name, change of name. I didn't last year, but I've, I've thought about it a bit, and I think it's quite good, because there's just so many different people to represent, you know? So what will you be doing today, Annie? Uh, I'm taking pictures if I see any famous people, uh, you know, chatting to celebrities, meeting people. It's just a fun day. Actually, what's really funny is that I've just bumped into Chris Evans, and I, I slagged him off in my column in The Express, and I haven't seen him since, so it's a bit embarrassing. It's like, oh, hi. Wait, <laughs> I know he wanted to have his photograph taken, but I think I'm going to run away. I think I'd be a bit cheap, don't you, after saying horrible things about him? I don't really, I don't just like him. I just like what he's become. Do you know what I mean? It happens to all of us. Thanks very much. Would you be available to do it? Sorry, would you be available to do it two ways? You can have a one at the centre. Yeah, but will you not come in there? Well, we've got our, our camera just inside the, the, the pen here, and okay. it's a, a cabled up to our studio. It's Which is the enclosure? Is this? Um, that's oh, that's press. press. Oh, good, they've separated us. That's what I like. Do you like coming to do one in a mouth? Can about... I just get you to sign this? Sorry, I'm from Gaytown, okay. so we can use okay. your. Uh, okay, where do I? Right. Okay, well, look, let's do it later. I just want to go and get a drink and relax. Okay, yeah, we'll come back. I'll come back. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Anyway. <laughs> this is Ian, right? That was oh, Ian. Hi. That was Ian, my best friend, right? And uh, we were in the pub at quarter past twelve, and he comes here every year, and he said, "What are you doing?" I said, "When I watch the tennis." He said, "Come with me. You'll have a good time." And he was right. right. So is Ian one of your best friends, and is he gay? He's very. gay. Gay. He's the gayest man I've ever met, and yes, he is one of my best friends. But he's he's never right, right. and I'm very he's offended. Even when we're at our drunkest and we've been on a holiday together for five days, five nights, shared the same room, never once has he shown any sign of interest in me at all. <laughs> and I'm devastated. So what does pride mean to you then? Okay, well, uh, the, well, <laughs> going out there on stage, absolutely bricking it, right? Because I wasn't I wasn't supposed to be on. I was here because he said come, and they said get on stage. <laughs> And then you get there and you see all these smiling faces, all free, everybody's happy. And I've said this before, it's not about it's not about the sexuality. I know that's that's the ethos of it, but it's about the spirit. The spirit is just about it's just about being happy. And it's so unconfrontational. And I was with a cab driver today and he said, What are you doing today? And he said the same, he's about 50 this bloke. And he said, um, he said, you've got to go to Gay Pride. I said, why? why? He said, because uh, we've been stuck in traffic jams with cab drivers for 25 years, 30 years, and the only traffic jam <laughs> we don't mind getting stuck in is the Gay Pride one, because there's not an ounce of animosity, an ounce of confrontation. He said, you've got to get involved. He, said, he actually said, buy a whistle and blow it. Now, what does that mean? Have you done that, Chris? I haven't bought a whistle, no, but I'll go and purchase one right now. Excellent. All right? You just, you just need to let say happy pride into the men's. Very, very, very happy pride. It's a, it's a lovely sunny day. It means, it means everything that's right and nothing that's wrong, and everybody's happy, and that's all that matters.
down. You are Divine David. That's right, the no, one and only. Known to his friends as Double D. Now, Thank you, Chris. I can, can I just say, before you go on, no. which I know you do have the gift of the gas, thank you for promoting rock and roll. That's all right. We love a bit of rock and roll. Rock and roll, roll the only roll. narrative. Thank you. I've got to tell you, right, I came here with my friend Ian, right? And I met him in a pub at quarter past 12, the next set in Kinnerton Street in Belgravia. And he said, what are you doing today? I said, I'm not doing anything. I was going to watch the uh, the Lesbians um, singles final at Wimbledon, right? But I didn't watch that, so... So, because sometimes when people are worth entertaining, you get nervous, and you lot are worth entertaining. Now, I think you're going to love it. They're doing something, they're going to do two songs. The second song is very special. It's a song you all... That song you've never heard before. And when I get that feeling, I can move. 